Beer, beer, beer. Hello all and welcome back to yet another edition of So You're Interested In, the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into their music. And on this episode I'll be breaking down a band that I've been listening to a lot of as of late, Spider Bags. Originally formed in New Jersey, this indie country outfit has since moved to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where they still reside. And with their unique sound of drunken country blues and tightly wound indie flair, they're one of the most intriguing groups in the genre. They've released a handful of studio LPs and singles since their first release in 2007. And as always, I'll be recommending two albums and three individual tracks that I think you should be listening to if you want to hop into the depressing world of Spider Bags. Let's start things off with some albums shall we? The first album to listen to from Spider Bags is their 2007 debut, A Celebration of Hunger. Now, it doesn't really matter if you listen to the 2007 version or the 2019 remastered version, as they still possess the same drunken country attitude that makes this album so damn good. Starting off with the album's second track, Waking Up Drunk, you immediately get a sense of who this band is. With humorously depressing lyrics, the song tells the tale about a man who is willing to embrace his alcohol dependency as Waking Up Drunk, quote, makes him happy. Then there's So Long a Rope. The instrumental on this track is one of Spider Bag's absolute best as it sounds like the Grateful Dead decided to do an indie song. And the sing-along echoing hook only adds to this song's replayability. Finally, you get Darkness in My Heart. Utilizing this gorgeous sound of guitar that slides up and down like a slick fox, this song is as sexy as it is sad. The depressing lyrics are almost completely drowned out by the uplifting instrumental, but in the end, the sentiment is still understood. Just like old country music, this album relishes is an utter sadness, carrying a heavy load that only still feels half serious. A Celebration of Hunger is absolutely worth a listen. The next album to hear from Spider Bags is their 2018 release, Someday Everything Will Be Fine. This album finds the band understanding their sound and lo-fi identity in some of the most fulfilling ways since their inception. Starting with Oxcart Blues, the band perfectly mixes their indie and country sounds through their guitar notes and drum pulses. The lyrics beg the question of who we really want to be when we say that we want change basically saying that nobody really ever knows what they want, so just kind of take things in strides. Next, you get the ballad, My Heart is a Flame in Reverse. Clocking in at just under six and a half minutes, this song is a wild ride from start till finish, with multiple instrumental sections that all help to tell the tale of a man falling in and out of love. To me, this song always felt like a weird Silver Juice B-side from some of their later material, and it is probably one of the greatest Spider Bag songs to date. Lastly, you gotta listen to Rollin' With The Flow. Easily their most produced track, this song struts a variety of different instruments and sound, completely standing out from the rest of the tracks. It is an extremely cathartic song as well, helping the listener to be pulled into the world of Spider Bags just as the album closes out. Someday Everything Will Be Fine is a wonderful introduction into Spider Bags discography, and I highly recommend it. It's track time. The first track to listen to is Friday Night off of 2012's Shake My Head. With the pace of an earlier Ramon song, this track is upbeat and lightning fast. It also features a fantastic chorus that is easy to remember and also to jam out with. While it doesn't feature their signature drunken sadness, it does actually make you want to get up and dance, a rarity in Spider Bag's discography. While most of their music is great sitting alone by a bonfire sipping whiskey, this song is awesome for jamming out with some friends. Definitely a necessary listen. Next, you should listen to chemtrails from their 2014 album Frozen Letter. This track is lo-fi to the max as the band embraces their indie rock influences to their fullest. The mixing and production almost give it this noise rock feel to it with the intensely fuzzed out guitars and garbled vocals. Most of Frozen Letter focuses on their indie sound, but it is chemtrails that uses it the best, at least in my opinion. It is certainly not the most iconic Spiderback song, but it definitely helps out new listeners get into a different side of the band, one that definitely deserves to be heard. And the last song that I recommend checking out is Long White Desert Rose from their sophomore effort Goodbye Cruel World, Hello Crueler World. With a rockin' hillbilly instrumental, this is probably as country as spider bags get and it sounds freaking great. Every part of this track thumps along with a purpose, driving the song with a head rockin' rhythm. A personal favorite from their discography, Long White Desert Rose is a perfect sampler for potential new fans to this underappreciated indie country outfit. And that is all 
that I have for you this week. So go out there, go listen to Spider Bags, leave a comment below if you do end up listening to this band, and what are some of your favorite tracks or albums that you checked out? Also, what are some artists that you would like to see covered on this channel? I've gotten some great recommendations and I'm working on some videos currently, so your input is always appreciated. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content exactly like this every single Wednesday, along with video history essays on classic albums that come out every Friday. So yeah, that is all that I got this week. Stay inside, listen to some music, jam out some new stuff, jam out some spider bags for God's sake. Come on, man. And until next time, happy listening.